indulge in fitness runs every day. Nevertheless, about 80% of them complain about back pain, which is now the number one common ailment in today's society. In both our professional and private lives, we mostly move on hard, solid surfaces, unlike our ancestors who moved on forest floors and grass. For instance, nursing staff in a clinic can walk up to 15 kilometers every day, depending on the size of their workplace. The consequences of this strain are often fatigue and pain in the lower back, legs and feet. One third of all occupational ailments and work-related complaints can be put down to disorders in the musculoskeletal system. These present the greatest problem in work-related injuries because productivity and work time lost due to illness and rehabilitation result in indirect costs that can be four to ten times higher than the direct costs of treatment. Can an ergonomic environment provide a remedy? And how important is the right choice of flooring? Sir Isaac Newton's third law states that forces always occur in pairs. When a body A exerts a force on another body B, the body B exerts a force of equal magnitude and opposition in the direction on body A. In other words, when a person stands motionless on the floor, this exerts a force on them equal to their weight. At the same time, the floor exerts a force of equal magnitude on the person. This is called ground reaction force, or GRF. Yet people seldom stand still. The action of walking, in particular when the feet contact and leave the floor, increases these forces. As such, the higher the ground reaction force, the greater the strain on the body. As a means to ease this strain, the shoe was invented, and a choice of floor covering which has the right dampening properties can improve a person's well-being dramatically. Walking comfort has been discussed innumerable times, but has never been measured objectively. In close cooperation with the University of Pittsburgh's Department of Bioengineering, Nora has developed a new testing method. The aim is to measure the load exerted directly on the human body whilst walking, and to identify floor covering materials that reduce the ground reaction force. This is made possible using ultra-modern recording technologies in test shoes without dampening effects. The average ground reaction force is calculated over the whole walking cycle, from the time the heel first contacts the floor to the moment the foot is raised. The tests were conducted on conventional resilient floors under identical conditions. The test results show that the human body, whether walking or standing, is subjected to highly different loads depending on the type of flooring. The graph shows, after 50 test cycles, the average ground reaction force on the tested 2mm thick vinyl flooring was considerably higher than on Norplan's rubber flooring of the same thickness. The results confirm that the tested rubber flooring is considerably more conductive to an ergonomic, healthy environment than the tested linoleum and vinyl flooring. The reasons lie in the permanent resilience of Nora rubber floor coverings. On the one hand, the flooring dampens the initial impact of the foot, and on the other, supports the acceleration of the foot for the next step. In simple terms, the strain on the human body is minimized when the floor covering is neither too hard nor too soft. The strain on the back and joints is eased noticeably and as a consequence, fewer working hours are lost due to physical complaints, resulting in cost savings.